hypoglossal nerve is, is at the very base of this area. This purple region in that section at the back of your form, and I'm going to hold this up for the camera to see which one we're pointing at here. This region in the back that you see on your paper there represents the organ systems of the kidney and the bladder in your physiology. So whatever's going on when we look at we can your right home, you can. That's yours to take home. That's a copy for you. Um, so you can tell what's going on in that area of your body by what's reflected on your tongue. We're going to look at each person's tongue in just a quick second. We're going to keep this minimum if we can. So directly behind that, that one red looking shape, you know, that we all see in the middle that's kind of got the color orange around it. I have a question. This is, so this is the front of the tongue. It is. Yes, Nancy. Oh, yeah, that's exactly is. right. That's the tip of the tongue. Okay. Okay. Cool. So uh, gallbladder, kidney in the back, I mean, um, bladder and kidney in the back. This middle wonder bread is the stomach, spleen pancreas area. It's digestive, actually. The digestive function of the body is reflected in that central area of the tongue that um, is then bordered by the green areas on the sides, and those are a reflection of what's going on in the liver and the gallbladder in your body. On both sides. On both sides, that's correct. Some people, that's a very good point, Velva, there are some people in their practice that focus with uh, the liver being on the right side and the gallbladder being on the left and vice versa. Mm -hmm. But I find that it, it doesn't serve me. It's far more confusing to look at it that way. And it's really reflective of the system that they are. They represent a system together, the gallbladder and the liver. So it, it's better that you look at it as a whole. So, and then this area that's kind of a gray circle directly below the Wonder Bread sign, this <laughs> digestive thing, um, is our lung area. And it is uh, directly behind then the tongue, tip of the tongue is the heart, and it reflects what's going on in the heart. So we're going to start looking at people's tongues, and the patterns that we see on people's tongue is something that we all get to see. So I want you to know this is like group therapy. If you've ever been in group therapy or group projects, this is group medicine. And I developed this as my master's thesis when I was in school because we saw that there was going to be a great change in the healthcare profession. And it helps us if we become a village and it's such a unity sort of thing anyway. Those of us that are unity people here is really that we're all one and village understanding helps us. So if something is happening on your tongue, Velva, that looks specific, later on it may happen on Nancy's Tongue. And Nancy will know from what we talked about here today what she might want to do to take care of that if it becomes an issue and vice versa and anything that's going on with you. But if you look at your body constitutions around this room, we're all different. So we're all going to reflect something different constantly. This is a snapshot today. It's not permanent. It could change. The only thing that doesn't change much on a person's tongue is when they have a deep congenital crack, which means it's a birth thing that came from hereditary patterns. But even that can be affected and changed by patterns in your diet and physical activity. That area at the hypoglossal nerve, the kidney and the gall, then the bladder area of, the, of her body. Mm -hmm. And you can see that there's a bit of a coat in that area and it's got a little bit of a yellow tinge to it. And if you can see that, can you see that? I don't mm -hmm. know if our yeah. colors oh, are yeah. coming through. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see yeah. that all right? Casey, can you see that? Okay. And then if you don't mind, we'll look at a live shot so you'll see it in comparison. Stick out your tongue for us, if you would, for just a moment. Uh, from up above. Your light. Your light yeah. needs to be from up above. Oh. And if you can see, that's toward the back. You mm -hmm. see it starts uh -huh. about mid toward the uh -huh. back. So it actually goes down into her digestive area as well, just a little bit and then toward the back. And because it's yellow, that's something to watch out for on your tongue, your tongue coat, or your tongue flesh rather, the body of your tongue should be a natural color. It's a, a reflection of blood passing through your vessels. You want it to be somewhat pink because the oxygen level in your bloodstream will be sufficient to keep it pink rather than blue. If it tends to run darker or blue, it means that you're either not getting enough nutrition in your bloodstream 
or you're not getting enough physical activity to move oxygen throughout the bloodstream, to move that nutrition throughout that system. So a couple of things, Casey's is fine. Uh, what we're looking at on Casey's tongue, the, the biggest focus we're going to look at on her tongue is the fact that she has that pattern toward the rear, which is yellow. And yellow is a reflection of bacteria's presence in that organ system of the body. Mm -hmm. So for whatever reason, there's some bacteria that's residing in that area of your body, low abdominal area. And there are things that you can do in your digestion and your physical activity that will affect that. And one of the most important things that I teach people is we are, in, in our world, we get to choose so many more things than we realize by using the knowledge that we gain. And so one of the things that we can do is we can make some choices and make the changes and then test them and see if they're effective for us.